Today, I want to talk about a very important subject in WoW, the subject of macro creation. Why do it? How do you do it? And how can you do it better? I'm going to teach you with a starting shaman the answer to all of those questions. So what do you do without macros? Well, we are a starting shaman. We have two spells we can cast. We have Earth Shock and we have Lightning Bolt. All right. Let's say we want to always cast Earth Shock if it's available and go to Lightning Bolt whenever Earth Shock is down. But we don't want to forget when Earth Shock is when Earth Shock is down. Now we could do this two ways. First way is the most basic. Watch your bar. Make sure you know when Earth Shock is up again and press it. Oh, and by the way, if we are out of mana, we also want to attack. So here I am. I'm low on mana. I want to use my Earth Shock. My Earth Shock was up, but it had no mana, so I had to wait. That slows me down. That makes me think about things. And now I have to attack. I'm going to right click on the mob to attack. Look at all that time I just wasted by having to make these trivial decisions about what I want my guy to do. I know what I want my guy to do, but I don't want to have to make trivial decisions about it all the time. Well, Fury swipes. Actually, you could put start attack on your bar. True. Let's let's try that and see how that goes. There's my attack. All right, let's go kill some shit. Oh, no, I don't want a lightning bolt. I want my earth shock. Here's my lightning bolt. Here's my lightning bolt. Oh, that's working well. Earth shock. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Oh, man, I'm king of the world. Oh, my earth shock's up again. I'm glancing at my keyboard. I'm glancing at my action bar. Oh, crap. I'm going to I'm going to press my 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 attack. So the danger you run into with putting attack on your bar is what you see right here. Oh, I kept panic pressing my attack button, but when you panic press your attack button, it toggles attack on and off. Uh, 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 uh. On, off, on, off. So just having attack, start attack on your bar is a bad idea because you're gonna constantly do that. You wouldn't want to do that anyway. Right clicking on a mob starts attack and right clicking again does not stop it. So that's a much safer way to start attack. So where are we right now? We have to monitor our bar or we have to download some silly add-on to tell us, hey, you can cast Earth Shock now. Or, hey, you're not attacking, you should attack. You don't need to do any of that in WoW and you haven't had to do any of that in WoW ever since it was invented because Blizzard had the foresight to create the macro system. The macro system makes WoW a thousand times better than every other game of its type. I am not overstating that. The macro system is so useful and so much fun that people who aren't playing with it are really not even playing the same game. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to explain by making my first macro. Making a macro starts with slash M. You have two tabs to your macro window, general macros shared by all of the tunes on this account and specific macros only for this particular character. Be aware, there are only so many macro slots. Look at this. This is 18 macro slots for characters. Once you fill that up, you don't get any more character specific macros. So you've got something like, I don't know, 48 macros in general. Well, how does this affect what we do? Well, we're gonna make a macro. We're gonna make a macro that takes some, some of the trivial decisions you have to make when fighting away from us, out of our way. So the first thing we do is press new. Uh, you can leave the question mark and name your macro something like Onage. Now, the first thing we're gonna put in our macro is we're gonna solve that start attack problem. We're gonna put start attack at the top of our macro. So this is our ownage macro. We're gonna say save. And we're gonna leave the question mark icon in place. I'll explain the question mark icon in a little while. 
But now we run up to our mob. I'm continuing to hit the button. Notice I'm not stopping attacking. So we've solved our attack issue simply by making a macro that says start attack. Well, Fury Swipes, that doesn't solve everything. What about the spell casting? Yes, what about that spell casting? Now, one of the things I want to point out is you can't edit macros in combat. So if you go, if you're in combat like I was just now, and you try to go into the macro system and edit it, and then you save and you get out, guess what? Your macro isn't saved yet. What Blizzard does is it reserves what those changes you made to land after combat ends. This is so you can't do tricks to change macros in combat in PvP or on tough raid bosses and uh, trick the system. So let's get one thing out of the way. We want to cast Earthshock whenever it's up. So we're gonna say cast Earthshock. You don't need to capitalize, you do need to spell. Notice the icon has now changed to Earthshock. That's because when we created the macro, we created the macro with the question mark. The question mark will show the icon of whatever spell that will be cast when you next press that macro. All right, we've made our Earthshock macro. What we can do with this is now we have a start attack macro that pops Earthshock all the time. We can now drag Lightning Bolt down and do this the stupid way and say, all right, if I see Earthshock, I know it's going to go on cooldown. I'm just going to do a Lightning Bolt. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to press both buttons. There you go. I'm pressing both buttons. Ooh, I got an Earthshock at the end. Look at that. Bam! Lightning Bolt coming out. Earthshock coming down. I'm out of mana, but I'm still attacking. So I'm okay. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, that's awesome, but I was pressing two keys at once, and that's kind of gay. So you, you don't want to have to press two keys at once. You want to just press one key at a time. So how, how am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? Well, you can do that by making a more advanced macro. Let's go back to our macro. And, ooh, what if, Fury Swipes, what if we do this? Cast lightning bolt won't that won't that won't that work for your swaps won't that work i'm gonna be like ha, 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 ha. you poor sucker you wish that would work honestly that used to work way back in vanilla wow that would work it would cast whatever spell could be cast in the order you listed it wouldn't that be nice if it were still like that i do wish it were still like that but it, it don't be like that. Uh, what happens is in the macro system, when you get, when you list a bunch of spells with cooldowns, it only tries to do the first one ever, ever, unless you give it qualifiers. In the macro system, you have a host of qualifiers. I'm not gonna teach them all to you, but you can go to the WoW macro guide on WoWhead and learn all about these qualifiers. I'm gonna teach you a few qualifiers today. The first qualifier is no mod. That means if you press this macro button without alt, shift, or control, those are the only mods, I'll cast our shock. Mod, alt. That means if you press this button with alt held down, you'll cast lightning bolt. So now we can get lightning bolt off our bar. Kill this thing. Oh, I'm gonna hold the alt button down. Alt button down again. Cast me lightning bolt, man. Ooh, I got another shock in there. Oh, I got my... Now, you can see that this means I have to make a decision. I have to make a decision when to hold the alt button down. And that's fine. I mean, if that's the life you want to live. But can we do better? The answer is... 
we can do better. We can make a macro that does everything we want without us thinking about it, but not with simple macros. We need an add-on for that. And it's the most indispensable add-on in WoW for me. That add-on is called Gnome Sequencer Enhanced, or GSE. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a one-button macro that does everything you want. All right, to use GSC, type GS, and make a new macro, click the new button, configuration, you don't have to put anything here, just click on the one tab. This is our macro. This macro will be named whatever you name it up here. I'm going to name it ONEDGE in all caps. Right now, if I saved it right now, ONEDGE would just say hello. So let's go test that. Use of GSE macro starts with a simple macro. So go to the M key. I'm going to create a new macro, question mark, own edge. But Furious Wives, you've already got a macro named own edge. You're right, I'm gonna delete it. Bam. And all I'm gonna put in own edge is click own edge. Whatever the, whatever the name is, I put in GS as my as my click macro. Save that, drag it down. Own edge, own edge. I'm owning everything. Oh, I'm helloing that guy to death. Ah, uh, I even got to my number of messages limit reached. So that's not a very useful macro. All it did was get me silenced from the say channel. Instead, we're going to do something much better. We are going to put a start attack that happens every time I press the key. And we are going to put cast no mod. No channeling lightning bolt. Okay. Whoa, Fury Swipes, you threw in a new one. You threw in a new qualifier, no channeling, what is that? That just means only cast it if you aren't already, if you are not already channeling some other spell, if you have no cast bar up, basically. So look, Onage now has its macro changed to Lightning Bolt. Onage, Onage, yes, yes, I'm owning these Scorpid workers. They're just doing their job. I mean, if you think about it, they're just workers in the scorpion industry. They're doing their job, like me. And now notice, I'm attacking. I ran out of mana, and I'm attacking because I put start attack in the key press. The sequence is named the sequence for a very good reason by adding another line to this. Hey, Fury Swipes, why didn't you add no channeling to Earthshock? What's up, man? I add, didn't add no channeling to Earthshock because Earthshock is so good that I want it to interrupt a lightning bolt if I'm able to do it. Yeah, but you just listed two uh, abilities, one after the other, and you said that doesn't work. Well, it doesn't normally work. But in GS, what happens is GS in the sequence button does a trick. Every time you press the button, one line in the sequence only gets executed. So when I press the button once, I try to execute cast lightning bolt. When I press the button again, I try to execute earth shock. When I press the button again, it goes back to the top and I try to cast lightning bolt again. Lightning bolt, earth shock, lightning bolt, earth shock, lightning bolt, earth shock. But every time I press the button, I start attack because that happens on key press. So that's the difference between sequence and key press. So let's see how this works. I start pressing the button. Oh, it did cast an earth shock. I'm still only pressing this one button. Look, earth shocks come up and it cast it. All right, so what of our one button macro? How do we get one button to cast both Earth Shock when it's ready and Lightning Bolt if it's not? Head back to your ownage macro. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to add Earthshock to the sequence. Now notice, I will cast Earth Earthshock even if I'm channeling Lightning Bolt because it's Earthshock, Earthshock. Because it is more important for me to get an Earthshock out than a Lightning Bolt. And so that's the way I want to play the game. That's the way I want to do things. You can actually get a little smarter here. Let's say, hey, I really want to prioritize Earthshock as I'm clicking and spamming the button. I want two of the three clicks to try to cast Earthshock, not just one of the three. And oh, by the way, I want to cast Blood Fury whenever it's up. So as I click my little one button ownage macro, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna click through Earthshock, I'm gonna try Lightning Bolt, I'm gonna click through Earthshock again, I'm gonna um, click Blood Fury. In GS, you click through your sequence whenever you touch the button. Doesn't matter if you're ready to cast a spell. So when I'm tap, 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 I'm clicking, I'm trying each of these things, regardless of whether the global cooldown is done, regardless of whether their cooldown is done, regardless of whether I'm channeling or not, I'm clicking those, I'm trying those buttons. But that's the beauty of it. I'm trying it. I'm checking. Okay, there's my Blood Fury. Lightning bolts up. Now I better do another. Oh, and he does another Earth Shock. Look at that. Lightning bolts up, earth shocks up, and he does an earth shock immediately. This is why, this is why GSE is the most indispensable add-on for anybody who wants to simplify their WoW experience. And people like me, multi-boxers, we really want to simplify our WoW experience. What, what, what do you mean by that, Fury Swipes? Well, what if I had five more windows? I want all these Shaman. I've got the same Lightning and Earthshock man macro, GSE macro, in the same slot on every bar. When I press the two button, everybody tries to Earthshock and everybody shoots Lightning Bolts. And you know what? That's a lot of fun. The Earthshock is down, they all shoot a Lightning Bolt. I don't have to think about it. This is why GSE is so important to the business of multiboxing. And this is why you need to start writing your first macros. All I have to think about is targeting and shooting. And all I do is press one button. And that is how macros and GSE change the game of WoW.